Hi everyone, it's Mrs Mystery. Today I'm going to show you how to create a landscape using oil pastels and we're going to be looking at the work of this man, David Hockney, who I have a huge soft spot for because he's from the same town I grew up in. We're going to create some landscapes um, looking at pattern, texture and colour, uh, looking carefully at how David Hockney has used pattern, texture and colour in his work uh, in order to create your own. Uh, so please do share your work with me using the usual handles on Facebook and Instagram and use the hashtag Mrs Mystery Makes um, so I can see all of your lovely work. We're going to look at the work of David Hockney today and he's a British artist who was born in Bradford. We're looking at his work because of his use of colour and pattern. Um, he was predominantly a landscape painter um, but his use of pattern is really interesting um, throughout all of his work, whether it's through his paintings or his drawings. And his early paintings are very, very bright in colour. Um, he had a studio in California and so some of his landscapes you'll see are um, of the American landscape and he's used bright, vibrant colours, lots of lines and dashes to create some of the textures in those fields there at the back, some wavy lines here to show this grassland, uh, some stippling and some dots here in lots of different colours, some cross hatching as well in reds and yellows and greens and oranges. Um, so loads and loads of patterns and layers on top of each other are used all throughout his work to create his paintings. Um, his Yorkshire landscapes again very bright in colour looking at the fields um, and the different uh, things that would grow in the field so you've got you know the nice lines that are made when the tractors go over in the in the fields and the hay bales and you've got different types of crop here as well and he's, he's created those by using different patterns so you've got dashes here you've got long lines you've got dots you've got waves and again the colors are really bright and vibrant a lot of david hockney's paintings from the landscape um, his studies were done on site so he would go out to the site and he would do a whole bunch of watercolor paintings small ones to help him understand the lighting to see the areas of cloud to see the different textures so even though that these um, watercolors and initial oil paintings were quite small in detail he'd gain all of his information that he needed to be able to take back to his studio to then produce some of these bigger paintings such as these again lots of different colors used throughout to create all those different patterns He was also really famous for things like um, his photography work um, and some portrait work. Um, so if you do do some research, you might find that you've, you find a whole bunch of different work that David Hockney's done. Um, but we are looking specifically at his paintings today. I really like the use of different colours on top of each other here. So the white and creamy colours really make the textures of this bush um, stand out really well. Uh, and the, the textures of the, the flowers in this particular area here is really nice. So what you're going to do is you're going to be inspired by his use of pattern to create a landscape of your own. And I really want you to think carefully about the colours that you're using. So again, looking maybe at a colour wheel and thinking about what colours go well together, but blending colours with an oil pastel to make the oil pastel look like it's paint is something that we're going to be focusing on. So in around 2011, 2010, he started to do a lot more work on the iPad and he envisaged this uh, exhibition of a whole bunch of iPad paintings um, based on, on some of the landscapes in Waldgate, East Yorkshire. Now, this particular series of paintings are really interesting because at the time, in his early 70s, uh, there's this you know, really famous artist working on an iPad using lots of different brush strokes and tools to create intricate paintings with so much life and character. And the shadows and the details that he would create from the iPad are just quite 
just fascinating. Um, and at first glance, you would just think that these are normal oil paintings. But to then think that these have been done um, on an iPad uh, is really quite remarkable. And for somebody of that age, um, you know, with the layers and the patterns, um, and he would use the iPad in a, in a very similar way of, of how he would paint, um, you know, really making sure that he'd got those layers of the shadows down and the highlights and things like that. Um, but it's the patterns mainly uh, and the idea of layering colour on colour that we're going to be looking at today to, to produce your own landscape. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is um, a sheet of paper. I'm using A5. Pencil and a rubber and some oil pastels. You're going to need a picture of a landscape. It doesn't matter what kind of landscape. I mean, if you're going out for a walk, you could take a picture on your phone and use that. If you're surrounding areas, you could have a look outside of your window and do a drawing from what you can see outside your window. It's entirely up to you, but you just want a, a picture that you can refer to. So, and what we're going to do is just a very, very basic line drawing. And we're looking at just the outline of the shapes that you can see in the landscape. So I'm going to draw this top one here and I'm going to start with the mountains in the background and I'm just keeping it really simple trying to look carefully at the lines that I can see that make up that mountain silhouette. And remember it's it, again it's not have to be perfect. We're not doing we're not drawing a not making a photograph. So just some basic simple shapes that make up that landscape. This section here which has got some buildings and things like that in it um, we're not going to, I'm not going to bother with that because we're going to add these patterns in. So I'm just going to leave that as a, as a full space. So you should have a drawing, a very simple line drawing that looks a little bit like this. So we're going to be inspired by Hockney's work and his use of patterns within some of his paintings. So you need to have um, had a good look at some of his work and seen how he uses patterns in little sections of his work. I've included at the end of the, the video some uh, a sheet that looks similar to this with different pattern ideas that you can use. Um, and so you're going to need, and you're just going to work with oil pastels. Um, and again, we're going to really focus on a colour. Now, if you look at Hockney's paintings again, you'll see that even though he keeps to greens and yellows and things like that for his fields, um, you know, some of his trees are a different shade of green, some of his fields are purple, some of his roads are purple, you know, the, the bark, the, the tree bark is red, so you can mix up and change your colours a little bit. Uh, and really thinking mainly about pattern, we're going to use oil pastels as if they are paint, okay, so we're going to really think carefully about how we can use and mix colours on top of each other. So I'm going to start with this bottom section here. And, and actually, if I have a look at my photograph, it's in three different colours. You've got the green, you've got an orange, and then like this kind of brownie colour. So what I might do is almost split my area up into a little bit more. So just, just for colour, for colour balance really. And I'm going to use some lines. I'm going to alternate the colour. I'm going to change direction. And the great thing about oil pastels is that they mix um, together, they blend really well together.
So alternate your lines, really mix it up. Think about different directions that you could go in. Halfway through, I'm going to change my colour slightly. So I'm going for a lighter green. Back in with the darker green. And then you're just going to keep adding to it um, as you see fit really. So try um, in each different section, try and add a different pattern um, and blend colours together. Um, so for example, if I show you in this water section here, I'm going to start with a dark blue and I'm going to use little curved lines. And then I'm going to mix it up with a different blue. And I'm going to do the curved lines, but I'm going to do them on top of each other a little bit. So it starts to blend those colours a little bit. And one colour that's really good for blending is white. I'm using oil pastel. So if I now go over this in the same direction, in the same curved shape, it starts to blend all those colours together that you've got down and starts to make your piece look really interesting. So white and grey are really good colours to use um, on top of other colours to start blending with. simple way to create a hockey inspired landscape using oil pastels, blending and mixing colours, um, using lots of different patterns to create lots of textures. 
So well done guys, you should have created your landscape um, using lots of different patterns, colours and textures based on the work of David Hockney. Please do send me your work, pictures of your work through my Instagram or my Facebook. Uh, use the hashtag Mrs Mystery Makes. At the end of this video there are a few learning tools that I use in the classroom um, when I'm teaching this particular task. Um, I use this as a stepping stone, there is a, a more practical task that I've got planned to show you um, maybe in the next few weeks, so watch out for that one too. Bye!